Not all toys sold here are safe for children. Mr. Yo Guat Kuang, the president of the Consumers Association of Singapore, or CASE, presented on Monday findings from a recent survey that tested toys for excessive levels of lead and talents. Lead and tablets are chemicals used in toy manufacturing and can cause harm to children when found in levels over 0.01% 90 ppm. The testing was conducted by Insight Laboratories, which specializes in toy testing. Testing started in April this year, and a random sample of 50 toys bought from various retailers like Toys R Us, Action City, and Carrefour were tested. 23 toys out of 50 did not meet safety standards that were packed to American standards. All the toys were chemically tested for lead and talent levels. These toys that failed, incidentally, all came from China and were all purchased from various retailers. Apart from chemical testing, the toys were also tested on their designs and if they were suitable for the age rating as designated on their packaging. These included a Kido Dairuman handphone charm and an RC Master radio control car. Mr Tan, can you tell us uh, what were the substances that you tested for uh, within those toys? Uh, we found traces of lead, tallets, uh, but they are just uh, health risks to children in general, so uh, it's best to avoid them. And there have been cases where children have been sick because of toys with uh, high content? Yeah, just a couple of months previously, uh, I think 17 kids got sick with the tablets of uh, not washing their hands, so uh, it's best that uh, kids stay away from uh, toys like that. In February, 17 children from Ai Tong Primary School were awarded after they played with a toy bought at a school toy fair and consumed food afterwards without washing their hands. The toy in question was then tested and found to contain traces of tablets. Tablets have been banned from toys and childcare items in the European Union since 2005. Case President Mr. Yo Guat Kuang is pushing for similar legislation to be passed in Singapore. Uh, more importantly, I think, uh, unfortunately today, we still don't have a legislation uh, to protect all consumers on such product. I hope that uh, the relevant authority uh, should expedite. I understand that the, the legislation uh, is in the pipeline. I hope that it could expedite and so that we can have better protections uh, for all our children uh, in this case. We hope that TWI uh, can also be included as uh, such a control product so that uh, all the distributors and retailers and the manufacturers uh, are liable if uh, they did not meet the safety requirement. So is it right to say that uh, if we have this legislature, the toys will be safe? Well, at least uh, all the toys imported has to uh, pass the uh, standards. But before such legislation comes to pass, what can consumers look out for when purchasing toys? I think it's important that consumers look out for the labelling. I think you have to check on the labelling, particularly for example for the uh, country of origin, uh, whether you meet uh, the safety standards, I think those are important. And also you must also have the information about the distributor or the importer if the, such a product was imported. Uh, I think these are important information that consumers must know uh, before they purchase uh, any toy. Kay said it has contacted various retailers about the potentially harmful toys and some of these products have been put from the shelves. In addition, CASE has also sent a copy of their report to the Ministry of Trade and Industry for their consideration.